Hello, my name is Jason Miller with Alex Now Solutions, and today we are going to move SLA definitions from a Jakarta instance to a Kingston instance. Uh, recently, we had the upgrade uh, to Kingston, and all the personal instances are available out there at developer.servicenow.com. So uh, I thought that one good exercise would be to move um, some definitions via XML um, from one version to another. Um, just one little plug here. This is my uh, YouTube channel. Um, if you could, I'm uh, asking people to subscribe so that way I can get 100 subscribers. And once I get 100 subscribers, I can rename this suffix from this sys ID right here to something better like Alex Now Solutions. So that way it'll be easier to find. Okay, so um, let's take a look at our instance. Uh, I have one here that's Jakarta. And I created a couple of SLA definitions here. Uh, one's called import SLA2. Uh, and I created an assignment group called Jakarta group. And that's one of the start conditions. Um, also notice here that I created a schedule called new schedule. And we're going to see how this impacts our SLA definition when we move these SLAs um, from Jakarta to Kingston. So let's see if we can... Um, Pull up. Okay, so here what I wanted to point out also is that the, um, the Kingston release notes um, are currently out. Um, I was looking up uh, things like, you know, how do, ha, has the um, schedules table been impacted? So that's one thing to take in, into account also is how the new tables have been impacted um, and what are the new uh, features with the upgrade. Uh, this is the second instance. We'll see here we have the, the Kingston instance right here. Um, and I'm going to move the SLA definitions to our contract SLA table. So right now I'll just move back uh, to right here. So here's SLA definition two. Um, we have a new group called Jakarta group and our new schedule here. And then I created another one called uh, import SLA. And this one has no schedule and it has database Atlanta as an assignment group as one of its triggers. Um, and this is in the, uh, the Kingston instance, so there shouldn't be any impact to this one. So number two is the one that should have impact to it. So I went to the SLA definitions, and this is what you would do when you want to ex uh, export these via XML and then import them uh, to another instance. So what I'm going to do is go to one of these headers here, double click on it, or if you're using a Mac, uh, or right click, or if you're using a Mac, just double click. And now I'm going to do, let's see, your export, and then export XML, and it should give us some sort of name that can that um, uses this filter right here. So now we'll click download for the export is complete, and there we go. So it's down there in my downloads. So now what I'll do is I'll move over to the other instance here. Now I go to the SLA definitions table because that's the one that I took it from in the <clears throat> in the in the Jakarta instance. And let's see here. I think because of this layout, we'll have to go to this menu here. Nope, okay. Let's double click here. There we go. So now we're going to uh, go to this option here, import XML. And I was going to say choose file to upload. So I'm going to choose a file. And I'm operating on a Mac, so this might look a little bit different um, than what you're used to. So let me go. I think it's all the way down here. Now let's go to my downloads. Okay, so yeah, it says today. Double click on that, and we can see this .xml suffix. If we hover over it, um, it'll tell us uh, what the actual um, query was that we used. I'll click upload. Now we should be able to find them. So if I want to, I can use that same test. What did I use? Import. So let me do asterisk import search and there we go we have our two SLAs here um, now let's let's take a look and see what they look like and I think uh, the import SLA should be fine there it is. we can see here it's looking for that sys ID first it says okay database Atlanta looks like everything there's no schedule um, so that's fine it says stop condition as well so everything looks good here and we can even test it out um, and again, you know, the, the start condition, basically the same for the two, with the exception of the assignment group. 
Um, if we look here, oh, look, we, we have an impact here. So look, there's no active entries in the schedule. In fact, you can't even find the schedule. And then the assignment group, it's here, and then you'll see the sys ID. So this is one thing to be cognizant of also. So what are we going to do? We're going to go back to our uh, Jakarta instance. And just so happens I have the new schedule up right here in anticipation of this. So again, I'm going to export this via XML. I'm going to take this record out. And I'm also going to go to the group record. And I'm going to export that also. All right, let's pop those two suckers out. And now, um, let's see here. We have our schedule here. So I think maybe I can just go to the I here. Create a new one. Well, probably the easier way is to go to schedules because I already have this up. Okay, fantastic. So here's where I would go to the hamburger menu. And now I'm going to go to import. And we'll find our, uh, oh, actually, I'm sorry about that. There should be an import XML option. There we go, import XML. I'm going to choose our file. And let's see here. I have our schedule right here. I'm going to do an upload. All right, we'll see new schedule pop up right there. Then I'm going to go back to the SLA. Let's reload the form and see if they can find it. There we go. It found the, uh, the schedule. But look, there are no active entries, right? So what do we have to do? We have to bring over the schedule also. And I think I talked about this in another video of how the, um, the entries um, and the actual schedule are created. So if you're creating it from scratch, refer to that other video. So now I'm going to go to the entries. I'll click on this one. export this also. All right, great. So then I'm going to go back to the other instance. And let's go ahead and find, um, so I think it's CMN schedule underscore span, if I remember correctly, dot list. Let's see if that takes us to the right place. There we go. Sch schedule entries are loading. Um, now I'm going to import that record. Okay, so we have our schedule here. Schedule span is the one we want. And then we're going to do an upload. All right. Um, let's see here. What was the name of it? It was, I think the easiest way to do it, you just say, okay, whatever the... Change our filter here to the updated. Oops, sorry about that. I think I made that. That's right. Personalized list columns. Sorry, a little bit of a different view here. Let's do updated, updated by, save. And let's, uh, okay. okay, new schedule entries, no Friday. Great, it's there. So now let's reload one more time and let's see if our schedule's okay. Great, so we don't have any sort of alert up here. So we're ready to, to rock and roll in terms of the schedule. Um, but as we can see here, the assignment group um, is not appearing. It's just a, a random sys ID. So what do we have to do? We have to import the groups. Um, so let's go over to our groups. Here's our Jakarta group right here. Let's see here, we're going to do export this record, great, and now we'll move over here, and let's see here, we'll import our XML group, that looks like I already did it, but that's okay, second time, and upload our group. Okay, so Jakarta is right here. Great. Looks like we have an entry there. And one thing we'll want to do is just check out and make sure it has that role assigned to it also. Probably 
it doesn't have any roles here so um, we can just go in and add I think it was ITIL admin at this point just to save on time again this would be something that it, that your organization would dictate the procedure on on how to move these things over but I'm just showing you one way that you can do this. So now what we'll do is we'll open up an incident with those parameters. Bring the form over. Um, and one thing we'll also do before we do that is we'll make sure that the group uh, uploaded correctly. So let's reload form and that the start condition contains all the correct elements and can read everything. There we go. So it's displaying as Jakarta group, and that's how we know that this is uh, uh, this is in the system and it works. But let's go and test it out because that's really going to be the true test of whether this thing works. So I'm going to do assignment group Jakarta group. There we go, and our impact is medium. Now we might have some other SLAs pop up here. I'm not sure. See if that one. So it looks like yes, this import SLA two is what popped up. Um, I guess I had this simple here from another uh, demo. Um, but yeah, it looks like uh, everything's working good. Now what we can do is copy this incident. Uh, this seems to be a new feature here with Kingston. I'm going to copy it, but I'm going to use the assignment group database Atlanta and see if this import SLA fires. So let's, uh, let's do that one. Database Atlanta. And again, we might have another SLA fire because I have some SLAs out there from other demos which I have not deactivated. But maybe that's a good point. Maybe I can show you how to do that too. Like let's say you have that situation. Uh, okay, so it looks like this simple one keeps popping up. But so our import SLA fired. Now if you wanted to um, make sure this simple SLA doesn't fire. Um, we can go into our SLA definitions. And what we're going to do is mark it false on active. So we have this active column here, mark it false. And if you had several of them, you know, you could just highlight the whole group there and it'll tell you you're going to make two, you know, you're going to update two rows. So some of these things that you, you, know, you can update um, in the list view. Uh, generally, if it's an XML type field, like the start, anything with a con the word condition in it, usually, uh, with the exception of maybe like condition type, like uh, start conditions or um, pause condition, stop condition. Um, if we were to try to, so like right here, if I try to edit it, oh, it's actually uh, doing it for us. Okay, so maybe we could do it this way. But other um, organizations, from my experience, I've seen it where um, they'll um, make sure that this is not editable, uh, mainly because this converts to XML. So just be cognizant of that. Okay, so let's uh, let's fire just one more, and we can go ahead and, and wrap up. So now I'm going to do yeah, let's just do another one database Atlanta, and we'll save. And there we go. We have our import SLA. The simple uh, SLA definition did not fire. Um, so we're good to go. Excellent. So just be cognizant of that when you're moving um, SLA definitions from one instance to another and this is regardless of whether it's um, to an upgraded instance or just up your stack from like dev to testing to, to prod that um, you're going to be you're, you're going to want to be cognizant of whether you have all the common data um, in that other instance. So is your assignment group there? Um, in this example, um, in this example would be, you know, is the schedule there, the schedule entry, is the assignment group there, does the assignment group have roles? Those are some of the things that um, you're going to want to make sure that um, you, uh, you check out. So um, if you need to find me on the community and you have any questions about this, uh, service, or, excuse me, community.servicenow.com. And this is me right here, Jason Miller. So 
um, feel free um, to contact me. And then also, if you could subscribe to alexnow.com on YouTube, I would be most appreciative. Uh, and as I like to say, we unlock the power of service now. Have a great day.